I bought this book to read, to get some ideas and uh, do stuff to practice. Uh, practicing on flat metal gets boring after a while, so I thought, well, let's build some stuff, and I've been doing that. But they had a good deal in here about a grinder stand, and uh, every now and then I bump this one. So I said, well, let's just, uh, for practice, we'll make this stand and test out the uh, band saw that you see in the video down in the links here. Uh, so we get some cut, for clean cuts on the band saw. And then I have some uh, 316 steel. Uh, the instructions in the book here suggest that you use 316 angle iron, but all I got is a 1 8. And what I'm going to do at the yard, they cut it like that with a torch. But uh, each one of these pieces, four pieces here, each piece uh, has a uh, machine in. So we'll take our measurements from here and go the other way. And then that way we don't have to deal with the imperfections that's on the uh, the end that the mellow yard cut. So all the ends, the four pieces I chose has a machine end on it so we get some accurate measurement. So what I do is I cut the first piece and then uh, I take the other pieces and lay them on the bandsaw with it so we get them all about the same length, okay? These are those notch cuts that he's talking about. Uh, you can do a mitre cut where you have one seam through the middle here. I uh, still hadn't learned how to do those yet, uh, especially with angle iron. So I have to practice on that some more. But, so what I did, I went on and did the notch cut. And that's what it does. You just, whatever you're attaching it to, cut that same width out of it. And what it does is it allows it to fit up flush. Perfect. So, okay. We'll get this. Uh, I'll put together here, get it squared up and stuff like that, and we'll go from there. I had to uh, change. The, I had to change the plans. I didn't realize that it was 16 at the bottom and eight at the top. And then cutting my angles is going to be problematic for me. I didn't know how to cut the right angle. Uh, it doesn't give you degrees in the instruction. So what I did, I decided I'm going to improvise, I'm going to change the design. Uh, this is 16 on the bottom. And so I got those two there just for shims. I'm going to take a 2x2 two two and put it in the middle of here. Uh, weld it on both sides, weld these down to the base. And then run one single pole up to the top about 40 inches. And then... Uh, put a plate across here and weld that plate I got a piece of uh, I think it's 11 gauge yeah we'll take that piece of plate there I got another piece coming to take care of that I got to put that on the stand but I'll weld that plate on here cut it down to size 8x8 eight eight. weld it on top of here then we run the weld in the center and of course the, the four bolts for the ground is going to fit out on the outside anyway so it's not going to matter but that's why I'm going to have to do that to improvise because uh, I don't know what angle to cut. And I tried to set them up and it didn't work out too well. All right, finally got the pieces clean uh, on the base. These will be the two rails we'll run across. Uh, that, these two uh, angle line rails will come across the middle. It's 16 across and this seam here is right at 8. So I put me an inch on this side, an inch on this side, and then we'll come back and when we put the uh, stem in, we'll run a bead here, run a bead there, and then we'll flip it over on the back side and uh, run a bead on the bottom. But uh, 
got this all clamped up it's ready to be welded we're about to sparks here we'll attack it in the four areas and then come out and finish it out uh, this right here it's gonna be the top plate so what we did is uh, cut across here found the center and then went an inch on each side of the center well, that's a two by two uh, square tube put an inch on each center and then uh, inch all the way around the center and uh, that'll come out to a two by two tube there uh, so what we're going to do is uh we're going to clamp clamp that there and then clamp this here and then when we give it to weld that in we can put the two by two right there and we know this corner here is square uh, you can check it uh, by this right here see that's square so we'll know we have square on that and then with that being the dot there we'll know that we're in the center and i will probably got to clean some more mill scale off that because I'm going to have to weld that to the top of here and i got to weld all those, those cracks up there get those welded out I'll put a couple more tacks on the inside it's not going to be really, really heavy we're just going to have that one day I'll probably have to upgrade but right now this is good enough a half inch arbor 3550 rpm 5 inch but it does for what i need at the moment okay we'll get this uh tacked up remove this out and uh, get ready to put the uh, stem on there all right the base is pretty much done a lot of tack wells on the top side but i ran a i ran some beads on the bottom side like i tell you it's just a stand all it's going to have is just that small deal on it uh, Worked out good for me that uh, I couldn't cut the angles. I'm gonna learn a little bit more. Uh, these magnets here, they'll hold 75 pounds. And so, uh, they're very, very strong. They're good to have. You gotta do something like this. You probably can't see it down off in there, but I did put the two straps. This is a uh, one eighth thick. This is one eighth. And so I took some uh, one eighth uh, shims Put them under the bottom of this i wanted this to be flush with that so when i flip it upside down i can run a bead on each side at the bottom so what i'm gonna do now is uh tack it here put a tack well on that side then put one on that side and then come back and run the whole bead uh, should be able to run the one here one there and then go up or down but i'm gonna flip it over first so as you can see right here just from the base it's uh, pretty level there I'm gonna have to have to attack it go up it still shows to be close enough but uh, I'm gonna have to pull it back just a little bit probably a little bit more this way there we go so it's close enough it probably would be okay see it's level and I ran the bead on both sides uh, see the wells are ugly but the good thing about the 6011 it's a deep penetration rod and so it drops a lot of filler and uh, it did I see the undercutting so I know it penetrated enough to hold it like I said I'm gonna flip it over and put something in the back this in here was going pretty good and then I slowed down too slow right there and got a big glob there I'm probably going to just tack a little bit right there, and that'll be it. All right, this is the eight by eight, it's going to be the top. Uh, I had to clean some of the mill scale off, so I grinded some of that out, <clears throat> and I took the uh, cutoff wheel, made my marks for my 90 degrees, so I can just sit the tube right in the center and uh, weld it down. I went around the four corners and just tacked the top. 316th uh, I guess it's called 10 gauge uh, on the top of here then I, I'm gonna go back around and, and tack well the corners on it I'm just not gonna have any stretch it's just gonna have something sitting on the top on the other side the main thing is uh, I'm letting it cool off now with the clamps and stuff so but that's gonna be my 90 degree marks does anybody want a border collie mixed with a German Shepherd I can't ever get anything done, that's what she wants.
all day long is throw the ball. Usually when I put on the welding helmet and the gloves, you usually get it going. So my plan worked pretty good. Um, these two magnets, like I said, 75 pound magnets. So see my cut mark there. Got my right angle. And then I have one over here. Probably this probably one sixteenth of a little bit too much, but that's close enough for government work. And we're just gonna hold a, a vice, but that that's that came out pretty good. So uh, I'm gonna weld that up, tack it on each side, get me a bead on it, and uh, we should have this up after we drill the holes. All right, pretty much done. Somehow got a little wobble on the bottom. I know the concrete is not flat. The reason I know that I can move this around, it rattles no matter where I move it. I think I had a spot where it, went on, where it was uh, pretty steady, but <clears throat> good enough to get by. But uh, so I put those things on there. They're, they're real heavy. Took them off of another project. They should hold it pretty well, but you can see that uh, it's a level. So, I'm really happy about that. Uh, that much welding, and I figured out how to get it clamped just right to keep it from warping. So, that's the template. I'm just gonna mark the four holes, drill those out, put nuts and bolts, and put it on there. That'll be a done deal. Jenny is still chasing the ball, running back and forth, but it's completed now. Uh, this is a plastic base. And so what I did is I took some, I had some 16 gauge metal. So I took some 16 gauge metal, drilled a couple of holes in each side and put them on the top to kind of help with the brace. And put some uh, quarter inch bolts. Uh, they're probably uh, one, one and a quarter inch long. Put them through there. But that's the problem. Eventually, this is gonna have to be changed out cause it's plastic and it had been cracking and breaking through that's why i put the brace on that but it works out pretty good i'm probably going to, have to come back maybe put put some two by two two down here because uh, you can stand on it and you can see how the what's called sway just a little bit but that's not a major problem you see how it does that we can go back and uh, probably fix that i thought i had the base clamped down enough where it wouldn't walk, but I think the heat walked it just a little bit. I missed it, didn't have an extra clamp, but then also it moves, got a little flex in here. These are not welded on the end, they're just welded down at the bottom. So I'm probably gonna come in and just put some two by two here, two by two here, and weld it here and weld it there, and that should stop it. Uh, any kind of uh, vibration. But the top came out good, just more or less kind of tacked it around the corners there but like i said this doesn't doesn't move doesn't do anything and uh works out good when it's running you can so you see it bounces a little bit but hey that's fine for what i use it for all right hit that subscribe button and like this kind of videos thank you for watching